While here in Georgia, we are learning a local teen who contracted the virus may have exposed others despite being homeschooled. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy live in Cherokee County with the new details. What have you learned tonight, Jamie? Well, what we do know is that 15 year old boy with the coronavirus went to the school behind me, the Living Science Homeschool Study Center. Now that school is temporarily closed, but the new concerns are who else might be infected. The Living Science Homeschool Study Centre in Woodstock finding out Tuesday from the Department of Health that the 15-year-old boy diagnosed with the coronavirus was enrolled at the school. The school was informed that the 15-year-old had been at the school only a few days prior to showing symptoms. In a statement, the school says the Georgia Department of Health has contacted the families directly who have children in the same Wednesday class as the student. The Department of Health has asked those families to self-quarantine voluntarily for the two-week incubation period of the virus and to wait to return to class until Thursday, March 12th. The school says the Department of Health did not require them to shut down, but they have now voluntarily closed the campus until March 12th. People with children in homeschool co-ops say now it's about the community spread since kids will attend multiple locations. It's just the unknown. It, it's obviously it's spreading. It's obviously it's you know, it's made its way here. Um, where is it going to go next? If it's in, if it's in, you know, Milton, if it's in, uh, you know, if any of the kids from that class have it um, or, or are carrying it, um, you know, it, it's just the unknown. Now, parents tell me that while their kids weren't inside the classroom with that child, they said that they were in the building when the child was here. And they expressed concerns to me that they think that their kids could have possibly come into contact with them. Lots of answers. We'll still bring that to you. Live in Cherokee County, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 News.